Okay, so in this problem, we are told that two snowcats in Antarctica are towing a housing unit to a new location as shown in this figure. The sum of the forces FA and FB exerted on the unit by horizontal cables is parallel to the line L, and FA equals 4,500 newtons. Determine FB and the magnitude of FA plus FB. So I went ahead and drew what's going on here. So basically, we have these two snowcats right here and here. Then we're going to be pulling this housing unit and so we know one's going to be pulling with a force of fa one's going to be pulling with a force of fb and we're given that we have this line l and then the angles to it and so we're going to be finding two things we want to find fb so i'm going to say fb equals question mark and we want to find fa plus fb so the magnitude of them so let's go ahead in order to find fa plus fb we obviously have to find fb first so how do we do that so they give us what FA is. So we know FA is 4,500 newtons. And so when I think about this problem, I know that this thing is going to be towed straight along this line here. And so since it's going to be going straight and not moving in the X direction, so we're going to say this is the Y direction, this is the X direction, just labeling it however. So it's going to be going straight along this way, and it's not moving in the X. And so since uh, it's not moving in the X at all, we know the sum of the forces in the X have to equal zero, meaning there's no force pushing it in either direction because it's only going along the y. All right, and that intuitively makes sense since it's just staying along this thing. There's nothing pushing it either way, so the forces have to balance out. This force, FB, has to balance with this one, FA, in the x direction at least. Obviously not in the y because it's being pushed this way. And so since we know that some of the forces in the x equals zero, what are the forces in the x? So we basically have the x component of this one and the x component of this one. But since one's going this way and one's going this way, you can totally think about it. The x component of this one, right, which pushes it this way, obviously has to be equal to the x component of FB because uh, it's not moving in the direction. If this one was greater, right, if it was going more this way than this way, it would be tilted to the left. So obviously they have to be equal if they're going to travel along that line. And so now that I know that, essentially I can just find the x component of this force, the x component of this force, and then they're equal. So what's the x component of FA? So uh, they give us these angles here, but I'm just going to move it into this angle to make it a little easier for me to understand. So I like to just think about it this way because it's easier to solve. So what is this angle right here? Well, if this is 48, I know that this has to be 42 degrees since this whole thing adds up to 90. So 90 minus this 48 here, obviously that's uh, 42. So we've got that. And then this one is 32. Same thing. So instead of it being 42, it's going to be 58. So we have 58 degrees and 42. So now we got that, how do we find the x component? So the way we do that is by using trig. So I want you to imagine this like a triangle here. So this right here is your FA. This right here would be your y component. This right here would be your x component. So this is the x because it's along the x. This right here is the y because it's along the y. And then this is FA. So I know this angle right here is 42 degrees. So if I want to find FA, or the X, sorry, I can use uh, cosine. So we know the cosine of something. <laughs> cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is X, and the hypotenuse is FA. So I know the cosine of 42 degrees, in this case this angle, is adjacent X over hypotenuse, FA. Multiplying both sides, that gives you X is equal to FA cosine of 42. And so, uh, yeah, that's what x is, right? And so remember earlier how I said that they're equal. So the x component of this, fa cosine of 32, is equal to the x component of fb. So how do we find fb? So same thing here, except for I'm going to draw it this way. Let me draw it. So, and then we know this angle is 58. So once again, this is the x component. This is the y. We want to find the x, though, so cosine again. So the cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, and in this case, the hypotenuse is fb. So cosine of 58 equals FB over X. Or sorry, X over FB because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. And then, yeah, so you multiply both sides. Let me move this over a bit, you can't see. But X is essentially equal just to FB cosine of 58. So we know these two X's are equal once again because, or, because if they weren't, it would move in either of the direction. So FA cosine of 42 is equal to FB uh, cosine of 58. And since we know FA, we can just solve for FB. So it's just that simple. Uh, so we have 4,500, 
right there. Yeah, so 4,500 cosine of 42. All I did was plug in FA equals FB cos of 58. Dividing both sides by cos of 58, that gives us FB. So go ahead and plug that in, 4,500 cos of 42 divided by cos of 58. So yeah, you're going to get it equals 6310.68 newtons. I'm just going to round to the whole number. So let's just say 63. And I'm just going to round to actually this place. So I'm just going to say uh, 6310 newtons. You can round however you want, though. I'm just leaving it like this to simplify it. Just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to. So FB we found. That's part A, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, and then we want to find the magnitude FA plus FB. So whenever you want to find the magnitude and you have multiple forces, you sum up the forces in the X and in the Y, and then you add them together, and then you calculate the magnitude. So uh, yeah, so but notice, right? So we have the sum of the forces in the X, sum of the forces in the Y. So as we said in the beginning, some of the forces in the X are going to be equal to zero. And the reason that is is because it's moving along this line, so they just cancel out. So when we actually do this, uh, the net force in the x is just zero. So really, uh, we don't need to find it. So that's just intuitively you should know that. But we do have to find the y because it's going to be some force, and it's going to obviously it's moving. So there's going to be some force in the y pushing it or pulling it. Sorry. So how do we do that? So we want to find the y components of each of these and add them up. So the y component of this. So in order to find y. All you got to do is the same thing I did here with cosine, but you're using sine. So you would do FB sine of uh, uh, 58 is this one right here. So this would be the Y component. And then the X component of this one would just be sine of 42, right? So plus FA sine of 42. And so keep in mind, we're just adding them. And there's no negative signs either on this one, right? Because usually when you do it, there's negative signs. Uh, but in this case, they're both going upwards. We're, we're going to denote this side as positive. So we would just add them. So uh, if you actually plug in the values here, FB is 6310 sine of 58 plus 4500 sine of 42. So I'm going to use the exact number, though, when I solve this. So plus 4500 sine of 42. So yeah, it's going to be about 8, 3, 6, 2. Let me move this over. 8, 3, 6, 2, 8, 5 about. So I'm just going to say 8, 3, 6, 2 newtons. Uh, but yeah, so that's the sum of the forces in the Y. And then to find the magnitude when you add them up, you, um, right, you add their, right, the magnitude is equal to Fx squared plus Fy squared. Notice fx squared is 0, and then so you basically just have the square root of fy squared. So these would just cancel, right? Because if you square root the square of something, you just have fy. So this right here is your answer, because this was uh, some of the forces in the y, which is your fy in this case. So uh, yeah, so this would be your answer to the second part, I guess. Uh, yeah, so about um, 8,362 newtons, and then this is fb. But yeah, so hopefully you understood that. All we did here uh, was basically just, I, I realized that it's going to be moving along this line, so the four signs in the X have to be equal or it would be moving. So if we know FA in the X, we just solve for FB in the X, which we did right here. And then to find the magnitude, we just use this formula. And then I knew FX equals zero, some of the forces, because it's not moving, uh, as I said before. Uh, and then just FY, simple to find them using this technique right here uh, but uh, yeah so these right here are going to be your answers and yeah hopefully you found this useful